Today's video is brought to you by Dr. Phone Toolkit for iOS system recoveries. Whether your iPhone is stuck in recovery mode or a reboot loop, you can go ahead and learn more about the software in the links in the description. You also get a 20% off if you want to try it out today. Hey guys, I device help here, and today we're going to take a look at iOS 11 beta 5 versus iOS 11 beta 4. I like to make these videos just to compare and see the performance if it has improved, and also take a look at the battery performance on both devices in different betas as well. Same device, iPhone 7 Plus. We're going to start up with a boot up test to see which one boots up faster at a count of three one two three all right so it looks like they're off and i think the screen lit up faster on ios 11 beta 5 which by the way is on the gold iphone on the or actually the red iphone sorry the gold iphone is running beta 4 so beta 5 on the red and we're going to see which one boots up faster now towards the end of the video i have a time lapse demonstrating the battery performance and it looks like beta 5 definitely booted up faster by a few seconds three four five six seven eight nine 10 maybe 10 seconds faster so good signs already with beta 5 so let's go ahead and start doing some of these tests here just sort of browsing through the os to see which one feels better so let's launch apps looks like beta 5 launched the app a little faster there at first but now it's just about the same amount of speed app store here about the same itunes about the same as well and let's go ahead and do one more apple music at speed about launching applications is about the same same thing with folders here so control center a little bit of a hiccup there in beta 4 but every time you do it the first time in beta 4 it kind of glitches out but after that it just flows pretty nicely now let's go ahead and do the notification center there's always an issue with notification center in beta 4 but it looks like this time around it's performing rather well so just about the same amount of speed there so let's go ahead and run a test here performance test on both of these two devices we're going to go ahead and go here to the uh, geekbench and start the test now i'm not going to be worried about which one uh, finished the test first but rather the scores so we're going to go ahead and wait for the scores to uh, come up here in a few seconds all right so ios 11 beta 5 with a single core score of 3491 multi-core score of 5957 and ios 11 beta 4 slightly below with 3482 nothing much on the single core score that is and the multi-core score for ios 11 beta 4 is 5926 so not a drastic improvement but definitely a minor improvement now let's go ahead and take a look at the time lapse here for the battery performance on both the devices on the left ios 11 beta 5 on the right ios 11 beta 4 so both devices had brightness up to 90 percent bluetooth and wi-fi was enabled the same task will perform on both browsing the web downloading applications listening to music watching videos the stuff you would normally do on your device and it looks like iOS 11 beta 5 definitely improved the battery performance with an extra 10 minutes of on-screen time that's definitely an improvement we've seen a gradual improvements throughout all the betas except uh, beta 2 to beta 3 which was a minor dip but improvements overall uh, with iOS 11 beta 5 by at least 10 minutes of extra on-screen time so that's always very good news to hear that i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did like always don't forget to click the like button i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace